Hello, I'm Lawrence and I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond and one of those memos pertains to kitchen appliances. And you may remember 47 years ago in the winter of last year, I did a video titled Five Ways That British and American Kitchens Are Very Different. And to this day that video remains one of the greatest videos in the history of YouTube and those are my words. Those are my mom's words. But despite this, there was one crucial element that was frozen out of the video, refrigerators. And so consider this video an addendum to that video. But of course, I'm in my studio. We can't very well have a hands-on video about refrigerators because I don't have one in here yet. So team, let's put everything down and follow me. Yeah, I've been in the studio for about two weeks, so it's good to get out of there and do sort of more relatable content, you know, while I walk to the other wing of my house. And three hours later, I've made it to the kitchen. On my left is the refrigerator. Do please ignore the picture of the red London bus. I'm a bit lazy and haven't put it up yet. I'm not gonna show you the rest of the kitchen right now because the camera lies and you might get the impression that we haven't done dishes because we haven't done dishes. But in the immortal words of Sir Winston Churchill, let's look at the fridge. And I know what you're thinking, he never said that, but in our defense, we were working on two scripts at the same time and they merged. This is the fridge, a good old American fridge, or should I say, a freezer on top of a fridge. It is a mess inside. I just wanna show you something that's inside my freezer that you won't find in most British freezers. So it's a special ice making machine inside the freezer. And as you can see from this, you can either set it to automatic or not. And let me tell you, this is the first time that my wife and I have been living alone together and we've had one of these. And when I'm sitting alone in the living room at midnight doing, it doesn't matter what I'm doing, and that thing goes off, it scares the bejesus out of you. It starts making a mechanical sound accompanied by banging, so it's not dissimilar to the sound of thieves. But I have to say, with summer on the horizon, I am excited to use this to make iced tea and to simultaneously avoid all of the angry comments from British people. And if you've been watching this channel now for a while, you'll know that this ice making machine is very much in line with America's obsession with ice cubes. Famously, Britain hasn't really embraced ice cubes like America has, even in hot summer months. So thank goodness they embraced air conditioning. But there's one other reason that American freezers are more likely to be equipped with ice making machines, and it has to do with size. As is a common theme on this channel, everything is much bigger in the United States, and that includes this refrigerator. Just like the state of Alaska, it's been proven that this thing is seven times larger than the UK. To be clear, this is just the freezer. There's a whole bigger section down below that's the main fridge. And on a side note, everybody now knows I do my videos in my pajama bottoms. In Britain, fridges of this height do exist, but like accurate Winston Churchill quotes, they are rare. In fact, my experience growing up and that of many other British people is that the fridge is so low down that it fits under the kitchen counter. This might be accompanied by a frankly tiny freezer in which you have room for a bag of frozen chips, a box of haddock and some chalk ices, but then what more do you need? And I know what you're thinking, ooh, Lawrence, why the disparity in size? And it's because the pandemic has been unkind to my waistline. Oops, I just remembered we're still talking about fridges. Well, there's a few reasons for this. Firstly, Americans tend to buy in bulk more than British. British people do. In fact, when I first moved here, I was stunned to find that people routinely brought home 25 bags of shopping in just their boot trunk. Additionally, it's worth pointing out that Americans are more likely to store things like bread in the freezer, taking up space that Brits are less likely to use in this manner. In Britain, our fridge freezer combinations are typically smaller because number one, we buy in smaller quantities, though admittedly on a more frequent basis. And number two, Britain doesn't have freedom. And so at this point, let's head back to the studio so that I can discuss one final but crucial point. I don't know, just put it with the other letters from Churchill's estate. So I wanna finish this video by talking to you about two words, deep freezers. We've all seen them. It's those freezers that you find in the vegetable section of some supermarkets where you open up the lid and the food comes up and down as opposed to in and out. I mean, it can still go in and out, but as opposed to a regular fridge where, which can't go up and down. Anyway, in the UK, the only time I saw one of these in addition to the supermarket was in my shared university campus kitchen. And the most enduring memory I have of that is I once put my jeans in it and I haven't spoken to my dorm mates since. But in the US, I've noticed that deep freezers, particularly in larger family homes, do often crop up in people's kitchens in addition to the type of fridge freezer that you just saw. And I suppose it can be hard to imagine why anyone would want to freeze that much food. 
But not only do Americans buy in bulk more, when there's not a pandemic going on, they have housewarming parties, graduation parties, Thanksgiving. Basically, any excuse to have the whole family around every week. To fridges. That's it for this episode. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok at the Lawrence Brown, and be sure to subscribe to my channel so that my videos don't get lost in the pond. An American refrigerator size shout out to all of my patrons who make these videos possible. If you would like to become a patron of Lost in the Pond, you can do so at patreon.com/lostinthepond. Until the next video, goodbye. <laughs>